This is Lou Monty, Remax Universal, previewing a property on Mary Jane. Uh, pretty close to Hammock Park, um, Highland Park, and of course uh, Dunedin High School. Um, this property, as we'll point out, has got some settlement cracks here and there. Uh, I really can't say the severity of them. I've seen a heck of a lot worse, but they're, they're around the property here and there. Uh, not completely unusual for the age of the house. Um, this house has had a little bit of work done to it to get it back uh, into showing condition. The, the bones and all look pretty good. Again, we'll point out some cracks along the way. Um, floors have all been stripped. Place has been painted inside and out. Uh, cleaned up pretty well. Um, again, the bones and all look good. It's a two bedroom. One and a half bath with a half bath being inside the garage. Um, the kitchen is going to need a good amount of work. Um, I would recommend anyone not to count on any of this working to uh, go ahead and plan on a, a renovation of the kitchen for sure. Um, you can see the ceiling kind of has an angular A frame type kind of look to it. And then this blocks off and then it picks back up here in the living area. Got a beam going across the top. My idea would be kind of take that out, put an island in there, do a little bit of a renovation. Um, here's a garage, water heater. You'll see some spots with ceiling and all that. The house all in all is going to need some work again though good location definitely has had some things installed fix it up to get it ready for market this is a Fannie Mae repossession and as it hits the market they're only allowing owner occupants uh, to move in. Gonna have to move in within 45 days. And then uh, you sign an affidavit saying you have no plans uh, to sell within a year. Again, terrazzo floors exposed everywhere. Could probably be brushed up, cleaned up pretty well. They've painted everything. The windows are all original through and through. Um, here's the main bath. Again, for foreclosure, I've seen worse, but everything is going to need a little bit more of a, a touch of freshening up. Probably a good bit of renovation throughout, really. Be the best plan coming into it. Not a bunch of holes in everything. It's all been painted, so it's come up looking nice, but really good game plan into a property like this would be to plan on renovating the kitchen, the baths, um, having some electrical upgrades, all your switches, outlets replaced, hardware on the doors and things like that. This place would shine up pretty good, but the cracks are going to be something of concern. A structural engineer would certainly be recommended here. This property could still use a little clearing, but it's got a lot going for it as far as what you could do with the fauna out here. Good sized yard, uh, pine trees, oak trees, bougainvillea. There's a little bit of a slab in the back there um, that has some electrical, it looks like, running to it. I'm not sure the wherewithal of that. Um, but we'll come around and take a look at some of the structural things that may be of concern. You can see. A little bit of staircasing going on there. It's broken off spot of the sill. Not sure what's going on with this here either. It's like a conduit off of the meter. Not sure if that's functioning or what. Down here, you can kind of make out more of the repairs over time. Staircase cracks. A 
So any further questions on this property or any other in the Dunedin, Palm Harbor, Clearwater areas, please give me a call.